Good morning. How are you doing on this fall day? I hope you're having a great week, and I hope you're looking forward to the weekend, and I hope the reason that you're looking forward to the weekend is to worship the Lord, give Him the honor that He's due. We also need that time of rest and relaxation and family time, don't we? I wanted to share my funny with you today and wanted you to look at this and see if it brightens your day. I hope it does. Uh, that's my point for the funnies. Let's see if you if you feel this way as the funny is today. Uh, happy Wednesday. I think I can see the weekend from here. I hope you're looking forward to the weekend as well. I wanted to talk today about a topic that, um, I don't know, it seems to bother me, and I try to be conscious of it myself as I preach and share the gospel and use my talents as others use their talents for the Lord. I notice a, a trend, and I, I try not to pick on mega churches, but it seems that we tend to follow preachers and not follow the Lord. And that can be a problem, and it can inflate their egos. Uh, you know, all of us have sinned and fallen short. And that includes me, you, all of us, every preacher. And I was thinking about that today, and I wanted to share a scripture with you. Uh, the scripture that I want to share today is from Psalms 115.1, and it says, Not unto us, O Lord, not unto us, but to your name give glory. This is the point that we go to church on Sunday is to give honor and glory to God, and we should do it every day in our lives as well. There was a preacher, when you go back and study the history of preaching, as I do, a lot of preachers do this. We like to, to look at the great preachers and look at their sermons and see what they're talking about. But there was a fellow back around uh, when our nation uh, fought in the Revolutionary War, and his name was Nathaniel Appleton. And he was an early American preacher, and he was also an educator. And he passed away at the age of 90 years old. Now, that was, that was old back in that day. Uh, but one of his sermons uh, that was titled uh, right after, he, after the Revolutionary War was The Glory of Converting Grace to Be Given to God. Now, God gives us the grace. To, to, he blesses us. Some of us, he blesses with a lot of wealth. Some of us with a lot of talent. But how do we convert that grace that God has given us back to his glory and not to ours, and we become prideful. And Nathaniel Appleton, uh, Appleton the preacher, he said that uh, we must be careful to give all the glory to God. You know, although you are to love and honor those that have been the means and instruments of your conversion, uh, we always want to honor our mother and our father, our preachers and teachers and leaders and people that we've looked up to, and, and that's good. Uh, we At our church, we honor um, veterans. Uh, we honor Memorial Day, Mother's Day, Father's Day. You know, some people even go in and cite Romans chapter 10, verse 15, and it says, How beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel. And I think sometimes the preachers take this that they're supposed to be put on a pedestal, and they're supposed to be honored and glorified and given all these fancy titles and special parking places and special privileges and it's not the way it should be, really. Yet you must look upon them only as the means and the instruments of the grace of God to share the glory of God with us. But we've got to look above, above, and beyond these people on earth. And they, they're due their honor, but we've got to look beyond them and look to Christ. When you go to church, you shouldn't be following a preacher. You shouldn't be following a praise team or a singer. You should be following Christ. And that church and those leaders in that church, they should always be pointing you to Christ. Christ is the author and finisher of our faith. And to his spirit, which was brought powerfully and effectually, in all those that believe. In other words, if we're believers, we're filled with the Holy Spirit. The psalmist wanted to make sure that we pass all the praise and glory along to the Lord for all that he's done for us, as we see in the scripture in Psalms 115. And by ourselves and within ourselves, we can accomplish nothing of eternal value. Yeah, we can do great things for one day, but what we do is not gonna last forever. 
God lasts forever. So we want to give him the praise, honor, and the glory. The Lord works through us to achieve his purpose. So let's learn to say, not unto us, O Lord, not unto us, but to your name give glory. Whatever means or instruments, yet in it all is from the Lord, and it all should be turned around and given glory and honor to the Lord. So make sure you do that. Make sure you're careful about that, and make sure you share that scripture with those in your church and the leaders to make sure everybody is focused on praising and honoring God through Jesus Christ. I hope you have a great week. I want to uh, pray with you before we uh, end today. If you would bow with me. Almighty God, I praise you and thank you so much for your word. And Father, it's so important that we stay in your word to be reminded of what we're supposed to do as Christians. Help us to always focus on doing your will. And we just give you all the praise, honor, and glory. And we thank you for your book, the Bible, that gives us the instructions and guidance. And more especially, we thank you for your Holy Spirit that dwells in us, that helps us interpret that Bible to do your will. We ask your blessings upon those that are sick today, that are hearing this message. As we grow closer to you, help us to do your will. Bless us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a great rest of your week, and I look forward to seeing you in church on Sunday. God bless you.